Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. In this episode, we will be previewing the match between Punjab Kings and Delhi Capitals. It's going to be the second match of the double header on Sunday. Two teams coming in with confidence, coming in with wins. Delhi, in, in particular, look very strong this season. Uh, overall squad, they have a lot of squad depth, a lot of players who are in form, and a lot of players who are coming in as replacements and looking good as well. Whereas uh, Punjab Kings, uh, after beating RCB, they're also high on confidence. Uh, you know, they, they've also showed some squad depth. Harpreet Singh has looked really good. He, uh, you know, single-handedly uh, turned the game around for them. KL Rahul looking in really good touch as well. And his strike rate is looking good. He's been um, he's been rotating the strike. He's getting the boundaries as well. So Punjab as well, they're, they're not going to be easy team for Delhi. Uh, I think uh, with the momentum, uh, momentum are with both teams, but I just feel uh, this game will be kind of with matchups. You know, how, do, how does uh, Rabada bowl to KL Rahul? How does someone like... Um, Rishabh Pant tackle uh, uh, Harpreet uh, or uh, Mohammad Shami. It'll be you know down to those battles, and I think again opening batsman Rahul versus Dhawan, both very consistent batsmen, both getting their teams to starts. But then there's a kind of X factor here in Prithvi Shaw. He he's taking the season by storm, and his innings have been very effective, very quick, rapid, and at the same time beautiful to watch. So I think him and Dhawan's combination has been really good, and uh, that gives Delhi some advantage. But um, if they if these guys don't perform how does the middle order do same thing with Punjab if KL Rahul doesn't give them the start how does the middle order do that will be interesting so I think uh, wickets in the power play will be important that will be the difference in the game for me for both sides uh, and uh, over here I'll tip Delhi as a slight favorites because they have Avesh Khan Rabada looking uh, really good especially Avesh Khan has been excellent this season they have backup if they need to play Wokes they can play him you know Ashwin hasn't been there but you know uh, the other spinners have uh, stepped up Aksar Patel has stepped, uh, stepped up up. And uh, yeah, I think uh, they, they do have uh, a lot of uh, options in bowling. Amit Mishra was injured, but um, you know his replacement came and he stepped up as well. So there's there's, there's plenty of options here for, for Delhi with the ball. Whereas Punjab, I think they're a bit restricted in, and they do rely sometimes on like someone just having their day, like in the last game against uh, RCB. So yeah, I think it'll be a very intriguing game and um, really looking forward to it. Chris Gale is looking in good form. Uh, suddenly um, against RCB, he had a good run. That'll give him some confidence, you know, hitting four or five boundaries in and over. That'll give him a lot of confidence, I feel. And uh, I, I feel he should open the batting because he's shown that what he can do with the new ball. Give him the full six overs, the full power play. Let him capitalize. If he gets out, he gets out. But I think the, by opening someone like Prabh Chod, uh, or uh, I forgot his name, but um, Prabh Simran Singh, sorry. If opening something like someone like him, you're wasting, I think, the new ball especially when you have someone like Gale. Uh, and uh, I feel that's where he should play. Uh, Maya Kangarwal might come back. He, you know, there's, there was some illness there. But it's good to see Punjab uh, showing their squad depth as well, showing some uh, backup. They have some backup options. Nicholas Puran's form is a bit of a worry for me. Uh, he's already had three or four ducks. But he, he hasn't scored uh, double figures uh, the, consistently. He's getting out to the shorter ball, uh, offside and leg side. He's just not in form. That's, uh, it's as simple as that. He's just not in form. Whatever he touches, he's getting out. So he really needs to, uh, I think, take his time a bit initially. Hit a few boundaries if he can, you know, try to find the gaps. I think he's rushing into his innings. Work the singles first. Play 10 balls. Try to uh, get a single off every ball. If you can't, you can't. And then go for the boundaries. I think he's rushing into his innings very early. And I like that they promoted him to number four, even though he got out for a duck. But I think that's his position. And hopefully he can uh, go. I think, you know, if he doesn't perform the next game, he'll be out and they'll bring in uh, David Milan because, you know, he's the World T20 number one batsman. So waiting in the wings. So I think that's uh, something that Punjab will definitely uh, look at for Delhi again you know Steve Smith uh, Marcus Tony's punt this is a very solid middle order Hetmeyer is there as well and they can mix it up I like the way the, you know they rotate the batting order sometimes punts come comes at number three sometimes Smith comes at number three depending on what the requirement is uh, what uh, the strategy is if they want run a ball they send Smith if they want someone to attack they send punt I really like that floating kind of role and it's shown that these uh, quality players can adapt it's not like you know uh, oh it's a new role and they get suddenly uh, bogged down by it I think it's something that uh, they've uh, learned and they've improved and I really like that as well from this Delhi side. The more, the, it seems more flexible for me. But like I said, I think the game will be the power play. Whoever gets more wickets between Delhi and Punjab, that team will win. But yeah, I think that's all uh, for the preview. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and comment with your predictions. Who are your players to watch out for and who do you think will win this game? Thank you so much for joining me.